Hey there everybody, good morning. It is a rainy, uh, what is today, Wednesday, rainy Wednesday morning, but that's not going to stop us. We are still going to have a few minutes together on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today we're talking about two keys to success, and this is, even if you've heard these before, this is a new take uh, on it, so you want to stick around and catch that. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Wrong camera. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, Joe, I got a question. I might not have switched this back from talk radio. That's okay. We'll just deal with it. Can't fix it now. So, uh, good morning. And when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, leave a comment like Joe has done. Say hi. Say good morning. Even if I'm on the wrong spot, that's okay because it's still going to go out to all of the other syndication locations. It'll still wind up on the web page. You'll still get to watch it, and we all get to enjoy our time together. Um, so, yeah, that derailed me a little bit, but that's okay. I'm back on track now. Today, I want to talk to you about two keys to your success. And if you've listened for any length of time, you've probably heard these before. First key is no K-N-O-W, your outcome, and the second key is no say N-O to the things that don't get you there. And I usually, when I use that, I usually spend a lot of time talking about saying no. Um, and in fact, the quote of the day today is about how you can be a good person and still say no. I want to focus on the other no, the K-N-O-W for a minute uh, today. How do you know, I mean really know, that you're making the right decision, that you're on the right course, you're headed in the right direction? I think that is um, one of those things that's difficult for a lot of people because they want to know. They want to have certainty and surety that they are headed in the right direction. And the reality is that that's really hard to achieve. You know, I... I a lot of this is related to planning, so I'm going to lean back on a couple of planning quotes here. Uh, my favorite from Eisenhower it says, Plans are worthless, but planning is priceless. It, it's not so much that you know the outcome. I, actually, I'm going to quote my granddad here. Um, we used to watch baseball. He played baseball, and so we watched a lot of baseball games. And we would always pick a team to root for, you know, even if we didn't care about either team that was playing that day. And, you know, I'd say, say every once in a while, I'd say something like, well, you know so and so's going to win. And he just wouldn't even look at me. He'd just say, well, that's why they play the game. And I didn't understand what that meant for a long time, but, but I mean, I get it now. Even if you think you know what the result's going to be, you still have to play the game. Because as the field shifts and circumstances change, you have to adapt to that. And it is, in reality, it is when you are able to adapt to the circumstances that you're able to win. It's not who can make the best plan because lots of people can make great plans, but they can't execute on them. Right? And it is being able to see, adapt, and overcome those changes in the field that make all the difference. So, when we talk about knowing the outcome that you're working toward, um, it can be, it, it's not like I decided, you know, 11, 22, whatever, years ago, and said, okay, here's the outcome I'm going to create. And you work doggedly toward that every day. That... I mean, that's what most people do, right? Go to school, get a good job, work hard for 30, 40 years, then retire and live a good life. So what you do, what you are capable of doing, 
is adapting to the changes and the changing playing field. The best decision you can make right now is the one you make right now. Right? Now, I, I shared a quote, I think last week, from uh, Jocko. It said, you know, relax, take a breath, and make a call. And, and whatever it is, that's better than nothing. So when we talk about how do you know, I can know right now, I can, I can know in my heart that this is the right direction to go. If I see the field shifting, if I see the tide turning in a different direction, I might have to make an adjustment. And that's okay. That doesn't mean that I failed because I knew, knew I was going that way. And now I have to make an adjustment to go this way. That doesn't mean that I failed in my previous knowledge. Because if I had not known that this was the direction I was going and started moving out in that direction, I never would have seen the field shift. And I'm, it, it, It's a cumulative effect. Right? It's all cumulative. So, so don't beat yourself up if you have to make a pivot. Don't be too quick to pivot either. But just keep heading in the right direction. At the end of the day, well, at the end of the journey, it is the journey where you live the good life. Not in some destination where you get there. Alright? That's how you know. You just know. And you keep going. And look, don't let people tell you, no, that ain't right. The mediocre masses and you. Mediocre masses and you. Okay? Do what you're supposed to do. That's it for today. Let's see, today's Wednesday. Yeah, co-working night tonight. If you're in the Huntsville area, be sure and hit that Huntsville West on the 9th Avenue. Starts around 6 o'clock. You can check them out, cwnflyer.com. I think it's .com. Might be .org, but I think it's .com. CWN for co-working night, cwnflyer.com. I'll be back here. Oh, one more thing. If you got value today, I would appreciate a thumbs up, heart to like, a star, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching or listening. And I'd like for you to share this message with one person. I am asking that you share this, this message with one person today that you know could benefit from hearing it. I'll be back again tomorrow. Till then, you guys have a great day uh, on this rainy Wednesday. Stay dry, stay safe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.